Right, you're covering next month, Sean Porter, Errol Spence. We know how rugged, how tough Sean Porter is. Errol Spence is up there, probably top five pound for pound. Break it down. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good fight. I think it's gonna be an action fight. But I also I noticed, uh, you know, uh, Sean's a very physical guy when he wants to be. Uh, I think he has to be in this fight because I don't think he'll be able to outbox a guy who has an Olympic pedigree like Errol Spence. But we've seen Sean try to box in a couple of fights. I think he has to be the old Sean, which where he's very aggressive and very physically demanding. But the only problem in this fight is Errol's also a very big welterweight. So if you try to kind of bulldoze Errol, I don't know that it's going to be as successful either because Errol is a guy who physically is big and he's going to be tough to manhandle. Also one thing to keep in mind, the only thing that really backs up Sean Porter consistently is body shots. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to react well to body shots um, and uh, Errol is a very very good body puncher so I'm curious to see how that comes into play as well. Do you, ever, do you think we'll see the fight that everyone wants, Spence Crawford? It's possible. You know, there's enough demand, I guess. You know, it's possible. And we're seeing, we're seeing Fury and uh, and Wilder, right? I mean, that's uh, that's uh, Aram has to work with uh, Heyman, right? So if, if, that, if we're seeing Fury and Wilder rematch, and Aram has to work with Heyman for that, then you know it's possible, and we can see Crawford and Spence because Aram has to work with Heyman for that too. So. I'm just calling it the way I see it. I see it. Polly, always a pleasure, my man. I know you're here for the rest of the week. Yeah. So we will certainly catch up with you. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Polly Malanai to firehack.com. Thank you very much.